there's a lot of hip hop imagery pages on Reddit and uh, on Facebook. And I, fa- I, I had seen this probably many times in passing of a young Jay-Z driving this Mercedes. It's such a split second moment where he glances over as he's driving away. I was on uh, a Reddit thread where somebody had thrown out, where is this? You know, this, that, that sort of question that we always, we always try to figure out. And then as I scrolled down on the thread, I realized that nobody knew, which is also exciting. The more I read, the more people were sort of saying, well, every street in the UK, especially in London, post-World War II, looks exactly like this. And uh, this could be anywhere. Yeah, yeah, my man Jazz, he had to deal with EMI. He was calling, he was out in London. But I wasn't really doing anything. It was like he was doing most of the rapping and everything. It was his joint. I was just there. I kept reading that he had been in town and they had put him up in an apartment in Notting Hill. And I kept reading articles about what he did when he was there. And it turns out that he was recording at Battery Studios. The legendary Battery Studios, where British rapper Moni Love met the teenage Jay-Z. Jay-Z and Jazzo's flat. It was in some swanky part of London. And I was like, what are you two doing living in here? Like, how'd you get this? I had found some pictures of him in front of that building. And he's wearing the same clothes as he is uh that he's wearing in the car i thought well that's a like kind of a eureka where you have him dressed the same way it's probably the same day and then i theorized more that he probably drove from notting hill at the apartment that, that they gave him drove to the studio had to park on the street walked to the studio recorded and then walked back to the car and somebody snapped a picture of him leaving i got, would go on to google maps and I started to, I spiraled out from Battery Studios. I found Battery Studios and it's in Wilston. I had not been able to find the exact spot, but I thought I'm pretty close. I think, I feel like this is the right quarter mile uh, radius so to look. All of this sort of <laughs> happened with me uh, sort of explaining that story on, uh, on Nerd Locations, podcast and the podcast wrapped and I uh, picked up my phone and (laughs) I think it was the next day uh, somebody that I didn't know movie location hunter had sent me a direct message and this guy Justin had taken I guess the little bit of information I had thrown out there as a possibility and he went on Google Maps and did what I was doing drove around until he found the exact spot. Hey, you guys. Can you hear me all right? I can hear you. Good. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Very good. Thank you. Do you know, the strange thing is we actually haven't spoken directly. It's all been through listening to podcasts of everybody else. It's strange, isn't it, how these things happen? That's exactly right. So you sent me the, the most exciting pictures. You just sent me this, the, these pictures of, of Jay-Z and your screenshots of, of that address. And you had taken the picture uh, of Jay-Z and taken the Google Street View image and circled all of the, almost like evidence. <laughs> he had circled in green and red the uh, examples of the architecture that sort of confirmed that it was the right spot. And you're like, this is it. Uh, Number six, Chaplin Road. There's nothing particularly special about it. It was just honing in on stuff and being able to quite quickly sort of discard streets and so on. But my work was based around what you said about it's the studio. They're not, he's going to park close to the studio. He's not going to work four miles to the studio. So it was just kind of working that. So some streets were really easy to say, it's not this, it's not this, it's not this. And then there were a couple that were close. And then, like you said, once I got it, it was like, yeah, that's it. This was truly collaborative, like you said, because uh, you you found it on Google Street View. I had theorized that it was near the studio. And then yeah. Nick uh, went to uh, Wilsden and, uh, and, and actually went to the street and uh, 
and uh, took some video and took the final shots. And I had the, <laughs> the honor of mashing them up, of putting them, putting the pieces of the puzzle together to see if they fit. And although I hadn't been there in person, I felt like I was. And so the fact that we were able to collectively, you know, kind of plant our flag and say we found it is, uh, I don't know, it's why I do what we do. I think it's I, so exciting. Yeah. It's a bit like a treasure hunt and you found the gold. The linchpin of us figuring this out was, why was he there? We've often talked about how they don't go very far, you know, it's, especially if they're not familiar. It was a like, whole thing just being in London. It was so many other things other than just being in the studio that, that, uh, that was around it, like being in London. If I even prefer this happened, it was like Jersey at that time. So we was in London and driving on the wrong side of the street and all kind of thing. It was just like a mind blowing experience. It was crazy. What happens to you when you travel and when you put yourself in a in an environment that you're not used to, sometimes it is a, a catalyst for change and it can also expose the possibilities. Click on the subscribe and like button. Love to have more people checking out our videos.